May it please the court. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, beside me is Miss Pamela Pinckney, um, and she would like to say just a couple of words. Um, I'm reminded of a quote, um, and I think it's very fitting for today. Um, it's that fairy tales don't tell children that dragons exist. Children already know that dragons exist. Fairy tales show children that dragons can be slayed. This process, from the beginning of the investigation through the state grand jury process, um, as Attorney Waters said earlier, a lot of people were afraid to participate, um, and it took courage. That grand jury process, um, this entire criminal justice process, uh, not even thinking about the civil stuff, the criminal justice process, this has been the fairy tale. The children are the victims. It's the victims' family members. It's their closest friends. It's the people in uh, our communities, whether you're talking about Colleton County, where some of the charges were pending, or Beaufort, or Hampton, or Allendale, or Bamberg, or Orangeburg, those communities, the children. Today is such an important day because these victims, their loved ones, the community members, everyone knew that dragons existed. They've seen it. They watch TV, they read the newspaper, everybody knew that dragons existed. Today, this sentence, Your Honor, will show all of them that dragons can be slayed. And that is important in our society. With regards to the sentence, and it's tough to uh, reach a decision in talking with the clients and explaining them what the options are, uh, we do support. We support the sentence. It is a lot of time in the quote unquote legal white collar arena. Um, but there's another aspect to this. Um, and I, I understand, I get it. I think the, the, my clients, the victims understand that this entire ordeal for a lot of people, uh, not just in our communities in South Carolina, across the planet, this entire ordeal has been very entertaining to them. And, and I don't say that in a negative light. They're not involved. It wasn't their mother who died. They didn't have to bury their son, right? There's a reason Law & Order is no, one of the number one most watched shows uh, that's ever been on television. It is entertaining to them. But for a lot of people, this has been one of the worst nightmares, the worst fairy tale that anybody could ever actually have to live and it needs to come to an end. Um, again, one of the most amazing things that, that I have seen from my cl clients is the degree of grace. Um, what's the saying? Act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. And a lot of them live by that. There are people who would have every reason and right to hate this man for betraying them, for what he did to their families. It's not just about money. These are not just names on a piece of paper or commas and decimal points. This was money that they needed for their lives. I believe there were victims who ended up getting put out on the street when their money got taken. If they had a reason to hate him or hate anybody, they would be justified. But the degree of grace and mercy that they have displayed by forgiving him, because that is their religious belief, and they stand on that. They don't just say that. They don't just do what Alec did and say, I have your back, or say this and do something else. They, they stand on that. And although they have every reason to be selfish as it pertains to the pursuit of accountability, the pursuit of justice against an individual who truly does not deserve grace 
from the criminal justice system, does not deserve any benefits from the criminal justice system, they're still willing to think about other people. And Your Honor, you know I come from Bamberg County. We're one of the smallest, poorest counties in this state, filled with good, hardworking people, much like all of the people that Alec victimized. Folks in Hampton County, folks in Allendale County, where literally you try to wake up, do the best you can do, keep a roof over your head, food in your fridge, and a couple of presents under the tree at Christmas time, these victims are also thinking about those communities, their neighbors. The reality is, is that if Alec were to have individual trials on all of these charges, these victims' neighbors and friends and community members would also begin to suffer because those local governments, poor little Bambar County, Allendale County, Hampton County, they're the ones who have to pay for it. The victims recognize that. I, as an attorney, recognize that. And based on the, the plea and the time that Alec is going to be sentenced, we understand. And there is a degree of value in finality. There is a degree of value for not just these victims, but uh, these communities and the criminal justice system to be able to actually see the dragon be slayed in this courtroom and sentenced to prison for what will effectively be the rest of his natural life. It's no secret how tough SCDC is. Um, people generally age a lot faster in there and, and, and that's not something I celebrate. I don't say this excited and, and happy to be here. As a lawyer, I hate looking at Alec and seeing another, seeing a former attorney sit there. I hate it. I hate to see somebody from our neck of the woods sit there. I don't celebrate that. This process has sucked. If it wasn't for the commitment to shining light on things and standing up for folks like Ms. Pinckney and others who needed it, I, do, I personally don't know how I would have made it through the process because it's not enjoyable. And I don't think any decent person celebrates the downfall of another living, breathing human being, particularly somebody that they knew. But it's necessary. This has been a horrible, tragic, sorrow-filled fairy tale. And I think everybody is ready for it to come to an end, Your Honor. Um, to the, uh, we'd like to thank uh, Creighton Waters and the AG's office. Um, they've done a, a wonderful job. Um, and Your Honor, if it wasn't for the encouragement that Creighton and his team poured into people to let them know that the state had a, a true interest in accountability, I, I think that there would be far less charges because people wouldn't have wanted to testify at the grand jury or have their, their name public or their face public. Um, and there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, today, we'll make our system better. It will bring closure. Um, and ideally, it will deter others. Um, you know, there's a whole other discussion that can be had with regards to um, the fact that 27 years in prison is a very, very large as you heard, if not the largest amount of time uh, uh, someone labeled a white collar criminal could get in prison. But that's more so of a American criminal justice system discussion um, compared to some of the other offenses. Uh, but here today, I think that is a win. Um, my clients uh, support finality here. And um, I'd just like to thank you for all your time and attention. Uh, that you have given uh, this particular case. And um, at this point, I think Ms. Pinckney has something that she would like to say.